My favorite thing about cooking videos is when they wear those really silly aprons. <laughs> Hi everybody, how you doing? This week's video is brought to you by my eternal desire to do as few dishes as possible. <laughs> Basically I came up with like this uh, new, I feel like it's new, cooking method thing. I'm hesitant to call it a life hack, but gosh darn it, it is a life hack. <laughs> but it's a dinner one, so you're gonna have to wait until uh, 7.30 to see it. Breakfast is a very classy affair in our van. It's an off-brand Weetabix and coffee. Tastes like freedom. So for lunch we eat the same thing every single day. We eat toasties. It was literally the saddest thing ever when we used to go away in the van and we would have to say goodbye to our beloved toasty machine. <laughs> Well, that was until we got the best Christmas present ever. A stovetop toasty maker. It is literally the best thing in the whole world. I love it so much. And it means we can have toasties again for lunch every single day. So if you fancy uh, getting one like it, and I highly recommend it, there's uh, a link down below to one that's quite similar to it on Amazon. We like to add a scrape of uh, spicy pickle to really elevate our uh, modest cheese and ham. Okay, so this dinner is my absolute favourite thing to cook in the van. So basically, I'm making fish with sweet tatty mash and uh, steamed broccoli. So if you put the potatoes in water, you cover them like just, and then you can place the broccoli on top, and then as it's cooking, it will steam your broccoli. Isn't that the cleverest thing ever? I don't know if this is like a thing that like people just do and I'm just like way behind the times, but, but hey. So if you've only got one burner in your van as well, this is like a one burner meal because the fish only takes like four minutes to cook. Let all that boil until it's ready and then once it's ready, you just whack it off and leave the water in it and just let it cook for another few minutes while you cook the fish and then everything will be ready in, at the same time. So I thought while that's boiling, I would just grab you for some life updates because I've been having a crazy few weeks actually. Um, the first big thing is I reached 100 subscribers, which is amazing. Um, thank you guys all so much for like, yeah, taking an interest in the very mediocre content that I am uh, <laughs> putting out there. I just try and make people happy and have a giggle, but um, yeah, no, it's that's like, it's so crazy cool. Um, that there's like a hundred of you because that's like as many people was went to my primary school so that's like I'm thinking about an assembly hall <laughs> and like how many people that is that's so many people so that's so cool like thank you so much for being here um yeah like you're so appreciated it's um yeah it's crazy I literally get like so excited and tell everyone every time I get like a new subscriber like, oh my god I've got like 111 um but yeah so yeah reached 100 uh, subscribers and I got an email from YouTube <laughs> So it's like, thanks YouTube, I feel so appreciated. <laughs> um, what else has happened? Oh, what else has happened? I got a new job. Um, so I used to work in Screwfix, if you've been watching my videos since, um, for a while, I've mentioned it a few times. Um, so yeah, I used to work in Screwfix, but basically they had this thing where if you're, if you're not a supervisor or a manager, you can only work for like 16 hours maximum a week. Um, and that really wasn't quite enough for me. Um, so I've actually switched job to where my boyfriend now works which I think I'm gonna take you along for like a little tour because it's a really like eco-sustainable campsite that I'm working at now. Um, and it's won like tons of awards for like its sustainability um, and it's like a carbon neutral business and all this sort of stuff, um, like zero waste and everything. So it's a very cool place. So I think I might um, take you along for a little tour potentially next week if you're interested. Um, but the only drawback with the new job is uh, that it's at night, so I work one till nine in the evenings, which is a little bit of a bummer because <laughs> it's just difficult like trying to rest in the mornings and not feeling like you should be being productive in the mornings. Like usually it's the evenings where you chill out, but then I'm on work in the evenings. So yeah, it's taking a little bit of time to 
adjust to the new schedule and making sure that I do have enough like downtime and everything. Um, but yeah, but it's it's good fun. It's really yeah, I really like it. I'm making pizzas. It's a fucking it's a dangerous job. Can you see my bruises? I don't know if they'll show up on camera. <laughs> There's like three bruises. That's from rolling pizza dough. <laughs> Oh my god, it's such an intense job, but I love it. Um, okay, and in other news, we're in the newspaper. Look at this. Can you see? I'm really gutted that they didn't use our photos. I sent over really cute photos and then they didn't use it. It's just kind of like, like one photo is super cute and then the other one just looks like a stock photo, which is a bit of a bummer, but hey ho. Um, it's really cute. They mentioned the YouTube channel a little bit as well. They've, they've quoted me as saying, Owning a van gives you a sense of security and allows you to express yourself creatively. It's like having a house, but cheaper, easier, and more freeing. Which is super cute. Oh, I think our uh, tatties are about ready. Right. So I'm literally just going to put these to the side over here. So we buy uh, macro. We really like macro. And um, to have is this meal. And. Ideally, in the future, when I have a little bit more disposable income and a house, <laughs> um, I'll probably go fishing myself. Um, I like, yeah, I like that idea of sort of catching your own food and stuff, um, a bit like hunter-gatherer style. But for now, we just have to have mackerel from the shop. <laughs> so that goes skin side down for like four minutes. And then it's time to mash. I would usually add butter, milk, nutmeg, salt and pepper, and mayonnaise to my mash. That's how I like it done. Have I not done these long enough? I thought they were ready. They feel ready. Yeah. Oh no. I'm gonna get kicked off the chef and spear on YouTube. I've underdone my tatties. They all boiled in the milk. Is that thing? Can you do that? It ain't always sunny. That's never going to be the start of a good excursion. You're justifying it by they did it and always sunny. Mm -mm, that's not good. I'm well. I'm going to try it anyway. Right. Cooking the milk. Oh yeah. Oh heck. More milk? Probably more milk, right? No, more water. And then drain it. More water, right? More water. It still tastes nice. It's all that we strive for. Well, I guess while we're waiting for the chat is I'll take this opportunity to tell you about, about when I made this meal the other day. And I was like getting the fish out of the packet. And I like I stumbled. And as you've seen earlier in the video, I'm usually very good at catching things when they're falling. But I like fumbled with the packet and then the macros started to fall out of the packet and I was like, oh it's okay, I'll catch it. And then like as I tried to catch it. I like hit it away and it went down the seal of the door and I was like oh god this is as bad as it could possibly get and then I was trying to like fish it out of the fucking seal and then <laughs> I had the idea of like oh I'll open the door and then that'll like help me to scoop it better I'll get a better angle on it not thinking that the door has a runner on the bottom so as I opened the door the runner just smeared the fish the whole way along the bottom of the door I still ate it. <laughs> Waste not, want not. But yeah, we did lose about half a fillet. The dogs had to eat about half a fillet, which was a bummer. It was a bummer. I will not lie to you. But did you enjoy your half fillet? Yeah. Good guy. I'm not the most um, eloquent cook in the entire universe. Okay. I'm actually going to test it this time and see what it's feeling like. No, there's a few bits that are still a bit hard. We will wait. We will wait. Best dishwasher ever. Okay, and we're back. I think that the ties are now finished. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> there you go. So that is what I eat in a day, van edition. So I now need to go and uh, do all those dishes, which is going to be great. But I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in like van stuff and eco lifestyle such things and uh, yeah I love you all very much and I'll see you next Tuesday bye